Amal Clooney moves husband George to tears as she gushes about their baby twins during emotional tribute at star-studded AFI Gala. She famously ended George Clooney's long run as one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors in 2014, when she tied the knot with him on the canals of Venice. And Amal Clooney, 40, moved her 57-year-old actor husband to tears on Thursday night when she paid tribute to him as he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute at Hollywood's Dolby Theatre. As the human rights lawyer took to the stage at the star-studded ceremony, she spoke publicly for the first time about the couple's one-year-old twin Zella and Alexander, and gushed about the joy they give her. She said of her Oscar winner husband, he is the person who is my complete admiration and also the person whose smile makes me melt every time. My love. What I have found with you is the great love I always hoped existed. And seeing you with our children, Ella and Alexander, is the greatest joy in my life. You fill our home with laughter and happiness and that's even before the children have worked out that Dada is Batman, a talking fox, and friends with Mary Poppins. Her rousing speech came just a day after the twins celebrated their first birthday. During the event. Amal also candidly confessed she had resigned herself to life as a spinster before meeting the superstar five years ago. The Beirut-born, Buckinghamshire-raised beauty said, I met George when I was 35 and starting to become quite resigned to the idea that I was going to be a spinster. Then we met and started hiding out in my London flat and very soon it felt like, no matter what happened, I would never want to be with anyone else. I couldn't sleep when we were apart and I'm told that I would display a particular grin and head tilt when reading his text messages or the letters he would hide in my bag. Five years later, none of that has changed. He is the person who is my complete admiration and also the person whose smile makes me melt every time. My love, what I have found with you is the great love I always hoped existed, Amal concluded. I'm so proud of you, my love. Congratulations on this great honor that you're receiving tonight. I'm proud of you, but I also know that when our children find out not only what you have done, but who you are, they will be so proud of you too. Her job as a wildly successful human rights lawyer has seen Amal speak in high-profile court cases around the globe, yet she confessed it was harder to speak about her husband to the room than in a court. She said, it's somehow easier for me to address a court on behalf of a detainee, than to speak publicly as I am doing for the first time tonight about my husband. I do so out of immense pride of all he has achieved. Here are a few things you may not know about, George. First, he is a gentleman. He is a gentleman in every sense of the word and in a way that seems so rare these days and perhaps even outdated. Everyone who knows him, even those who oppose him politically or who have quarreled with him professionally, will tell you. He has not forgotten his Kentucky manners. On every set I visit, I'm told by crew that George sticks up for the most vulnerable. Among the stars on hand for the speech were his close pals Cindy Crawford and Rand Crawford, as well as Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Diane Keaton, Kate Blanchett, Jane Seymour, Laura Dern and his former RIAR co-star Juliana Margulies. Recently, George, who this week returned from a trip to Italy with his family, praised his remarkable wife Amala for being an incredible mother to their twins, who celebrate their first birthday in a few days' time. He said, Amal is sort of this remarkable human being, and now mother, which is something I suppose you should assume she'd be wonderful at as well. But when you see it in person it makes you feel incredibly proud, and incredibly small. And George previously revealed he is eager to instill good values in his children. He explained, I have always felt a great sense of responsibility to other people in the world, but when you have children of your own, you realize you are responsible for their lives in a way you haven't been before. And you become conscious that you want to make an example of your own life that they will follow. I want to make sure my children understand they have been given things other children haven't been by accident of birth. They could just as easily have been born in Syria and their lives would have been completely different. It's challenging to remind children who have been born into this glass of celebrity and money to have empathy for people who aren't as fortunate as they are. That's going to be a model's and my job to teach our children and it's an important one. George's honor highlighted his glittering Hollywood career, which has seen him handed eight Oscar nods, before landing Best Supporting Actor for in 2005 for Siriana and Best Picture Producer for 2012's Argo. The dashing star shot to fame playing Drive. Doug Ross on TVZR. 
before beefing up his acting credentials in movies including Three Kings, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Out of Sight, The Oceans Trilogy, Michael Clayton, The Descendants, Up in the Air, Gravity, and Hail, Caesar. Atop his glittering acting CV, he has also directed films including Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, Good Night, and Good Luck and the Ides of March.